Backed by their ace pilot, the Red Cloud, Free Erysia is expanding its reach throughout all of Usia. They're antagonizing local governments and strengthening their supply lines. The General Staff Office feels it's time to do some strengthening of our own. They're redeploying ace pilots throughout the air and maritime defense forces to help train regional squadrons. Our ace pilot has arrived, and he will be participating in air combat exercises with the pilots of this ship. Noriko, take it from here. This pilot needs no introduction, but I'll give one anyway. They've been called many names over the years. Kid, Booby, the Ghost of Rosgrees, and more recently, the Eternal Captain. I'd like to welcome your new instructor, call sign Blaze. As you can tell, the captain's not much for words. Be grateful, everyone. The hero that ended the Circum-Pacific War is here, on this ship, with us. That's something special. Your mission will be to engage, using simulated weapons, and destroy Blaze's F-14A Black Tomcat. We're heading back over the mountains for this one. Not even an F-14D? Are you saying we don't have the D? Correct. We do not have the D. Given that you ran from a MiG-21, I'm sure an old A model will be more than challenging for you. We didn't run. Crown ordered us away. And now you're against an aircraft faster than you. Running isn't an option. If you want to survive, make sure you use the terrain to your advantage. But remember, those big wide wings on the Tomcat will give it a turning advantage at low altitude. Even so, four Super Hornets against an old Tomcat? Isn't that a bit unfair? The captain shot down a satellite 13 years ago. It's not the plane, it's the pilot. All right. Enough talk. Get to your planes, and good luck. Hey, Hornlean, this is Turtle Box. I'll be monitoring your battle progress and calling kills. I don't know where he is, and I don't know where you are. But I won't tell either side the other's location. Good hunting. Turtle Box, Horn 1, acknowledged. Derping Cavalry Squadron, Turtle Box, Blaze is entering the area. Fights on, fights on, fights on! All right, let's do this. Fatso, guest battler, bracket right. We'll try to box him in. Wait a second. That's a radar mark. Guess nothing. Break! Box one, horn four. Turtle box, you're dead, bucko. Killed by an enemy SAAM. Withdrawal from the AO. Thank you, guest battler! The captain's the strong, silent type. Must have recognized Guest Battler as the same. We still outnumber him. We can still surround him. Right, but we need to do this smart. That Tomcat's got a doozy of a radar on board. But let's head for low altitude to even the odds. Didn't Noriko say that the Tomcat's got the advantage at low altitude because of those wings? The mountains will limit Blaze's maneuverability too. And that'll level the playing field. Everyone, get to low altitude. We're being lit up by radar! Dropping flare and chaff. Maybe that'll slow him down. It won't! Box 1, Horn 3, Turtle Box. We've got confirmed kill by Blaze. Death by SAAM. I'm dead. Correction, I'm dead. You're dead with me. He's picking us off one by one, and we don't even know where he is. I'll pop above the cloud cover. Keep an eye on your radar and take a shot the moment you see him making a run at me. But Crown, you're the more experienced pilot. Wouldn't you have the better chance at taking Blaze down? No one asked you. All right, I'll let you fly above the clouds. Roger. I'm already spiked. <laughs> Tally one, Black Tomcat. Dropping chaff and flares. <laughs> Horn 2! You just done gone dodged an enemy standard missile! Alright, I'm still in the fight. He's firing at me again! <laughs> Defensive! Snake! You just dodged it twice! If he's only carrying two SAMs and two standard missiles, that means he's Winchester and I can- Horn 2, Turtle Box! Death by gunshot! Rooey! 
Crown, why didn't you back me up? I took off because once he was Winchester, I figured he wouldn't be a threat unless he got in close. Damn it, Crown! Horn 2, Turtle Box! Horn lead is withdrawn from the AO! Snake, your sacrifice will be remembered. Blaze can't win the match if he doesn't kill all of us. And he can't kill all of us if I leave the AO. Uh, Horn lead, Turtle Box, I guess that technically makes you the winner. But he just ran away like he did with the MiG-21. What's the point of the exercise if the only answer is just run away? Brown, you've really got the whole running away from the enemy maneuver down pat. I'm sure using your wingman as shields is a legitimate and reasonable tactic in some circles. But maybe it's time you expand your repertoire. Can't argue with the results, though. Noriko, weren't we supposed to destroy Blaze? I do recall saying that. Then what gives? I also recall saying that if you wanted to survive, you should be at low altitude. You, Guest Battler, and Fatso failed that part of the test. Quiet, you! Well, no shame in being killed by the best, I suppose. Remember that, Clyde. Uh, alright, sir? Back in my flying days, I flew every model of F-14 under the sun. It does this old heart good anytime F-14s are beating down younger aircraft. Blaze, it's been wonderful having you on board. I hope we can fly again together someday, on the same side. Ooh.